Moment off-duty cop shot dead unarmed firefighter who had got married just hours earlier is revealed, as he is cleared of charges. Kansas City firefighter Anthony Bruno, 26, was shot dead by police officer Donald Hubbard, 42, following his wedding. Bruno was resisting arrest after Hubbard apprehended him following an altercation with a cab driver. Hubbard said he feared for his life when Bruno began to punch him in the head. Fired two shots at the firefighter after suffering a broken cheekbone and facial cuts. Was cleared by a grand jury of any criminal wrongdoing. Disturbing video of the moment an off-duty police officer shot dead a Kansas City firefighter hours after his wedding has been released. The upsetting footage recorded by two bystanders, shows 26-year-old Anthony Bruno grappling with Officer Donald Hubbard, 42, in the early hours of December 1 outside the, the Marriott Mulebic Hotel after the firefighter assaulted a cab driver. An intoxicated Bruno resists arrest and ends up on top of Hubbard, punching his head, causing the police officer to fire two shots killing Bruno outside the hotel where he was due to spend his first night as a married man. Last month, the Jackson County Prosecutor's Office declared that Hubbard, who was seriously injured during the fight, would not be criminally charged in the shooting. A grand jury issued a no-true bill, which means that the case is closed according to the prosecutor's officer. Police reports found that Bruno was drunk following his wedding reception when he attacked a cab driver and then Hubbard, who shot and killed the groom. It was a dispute over a $6 cab fare between Bruno and his wife Stephanie, 29, who was still wearing her wedding dress that sparked the tragic series of events. Stephanie Bruno told investigators that the cab driver had thrown money in her face and made a sexual slur which caused her new husband to get out of the vehicle and begin to punch driver, Ahmed Alamari. Hubbard, 42 who was still wearing his police uniform, but technically working off-duty as a security guard for the Marriott, approached and chased Bruno after he witnessed the altercation. Throughout my entire contact with the suspect, I gave him numerous verbal commands to give me his hands and to stop resisting. Hubbard told investigators later, according to documents obtained by the Kansas City Star. In my attempts to place handcuffs on the suspect, he continued to resist and we eventually went to the ground. In the cell phone footage, two bystanders observe the altercation between Bruno and Hubbard as they battle on the ground. Bruno is clearly resisting arrest, but events quickly spiral out of control when the officer appears to knee Bruno in the head as he tries to cuff him. This causes Bruno to become enraged and he actively appears to want to overcome the officer, rather than resist arrest. Hubbard is seen looking at the two bystanders and mentioning the word help before Bruno climbs on top of him, begins to gouge his eye and mouth and then start to pummel his dead. Hey, don't fight the cop, don't fight the cop one of the onlookers shouts, right before the camera's view slips away and two gunshots ring out. He was on top of me and I was in an extremely vulnerable position, and I was exhausted from the struggle with the suspect. Hubbard told investigators later, in the documents obtained by the Star. I don't know how many times he struck me, but I started to black out and saw lines across my eyes. He continued to strike me and I started to lose consciousness, and I believed the suspect was not going to stop hitting me until he killed me. I feared for my life and I drew my weapon, fired two shots center mass. Bruno was struck both times and pronounced dead at a local hospital. Hubbard, a 17-year veteran of the department, is to undergo facial reconstruction surgery for the injuries he suffered during the attack, police confirmed. Hubbard is a command sergeant major in the National Guard with 25 years of service and multiple tours of duty overseas. Bruno joined the Kansas City Fire Department in 2008 and was assigned to Station 17, said Battalion Chief James Garrett. At that location, the suspect began fighting the officer in an assaultive manner. Subsequently to this assault, the officer was seriously injured, 
Kansas City Police Department spokesman Captain Ty Grant said to KCTV5. Fearing for his life, the officer fired his duty weapon striking the suspect. Witness Ashley Jansen says her friend took out a cell phone and started recording, KSDK.com reports. Jansen, a critical care nurse, attempted CPR on site. She told police that Bruno pleaded with her not to let H. I am die. If maybe he would have just accepted being detained, none of this would have happened, Jansen said.